think there might be a couple of more. There's a couple of things. That's why we bring in Greg Edwards from the Greater Des Moines Convention and Visitors Bureau to get us all up to speed on what's happening around Des Moines. Good morning. How you are you? You said you were out of the fair yesterday. Yes, I was. Did I you saw eat anything it. fried on a stick? I did. Of course, you always have to have a corn dog. Right. But I also had to have a gizmo. Oh, of course, gizmos are awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Carla saw take Jackie. Car uh, Carla, take care of you at the gizmo stand? Yes, she did. Okay. Yep. Okay. okay. Great. People. Uh, my, my neighbor kid uh, kind of runs that thing for her, too. Oh, oh good. Oh, right. So you have the inside He track. goes from here to the Minnesota State Fair. That's oh, right. They just geez. added that one not yeah. too long ago. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Saw Jackie Schmellen on the stage, the Bill really? Ryan stage. <laughs> what a bust, burst of energy she is. <laughs> you know, I'm going to call you Ever Ready from here on out. Oh, thank you. Because you're just is that a good all thing? over the place. That's a good thing. You keep going. Ever Ready battery. Going and going not, and going. Not taking Plug the in. other way. <laughs> Stuff we were talking about off air. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny how when we come on, we're just all so solemn. We, <laughs> if they only knew what we were discussing. We're, we're thinking about selling that. We're going to have a camera that gets us in breaks because that's usually when we're at our best. Yeah, but, uh, that really yeah. is. Yeah. Anyway, hey, what else is going on? You're at the fair, you're enjoying it, but there's wonderful things happening there's here. There's great in things Iowa. happening. Uh, tonight, you can catch Story Mob at the Des Moines Social Club. This is a free event. Participants get a prop and five minutes to make up or share a story to the judges in the audience. Hmm. The story must incorporate the prop. Um, you know, there's also, and I, I meant to research this, there's also a great show playing at the uh, Social Club this weekend. Oh, Soldiers Play. Soldiers Play oh. about um, African-American soldiers. And wonderful reviews. Yes. Good friend of mine, Tiffany Johnson, was the, I think, associate director of that. And so we want to give a good plug for that mm -hmm. as well. Um, little thing happening out in the east side of Des Moines this week called the Iowa State Fair. Oh, if you haven't heard about it, yeah. And that's going to happen until Sunday. Tonight, uh, grandstand show is Alabama. Wow. That'd be a good show. Yeah, I'm sure it will You're be. You're still playing? Yeah. All right. I think, well, it's all their kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. The They've kids been are around a long up. time. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can still check that out until Sunday, $11 for a ticket. Kids, uh, 6 to 11 $5. Of course, lots and lots of fun at the Iowa State Fair. Uh, Des Moines Restaurant Week continues this week. Great chance to get out and enjoy some of the restaurants may, maybe you haven't um, sampled yet. 37 restaurants are participating. You can get two lunches for $25 or a three-course gourmet meal for $25. And they range all over the place. Some of the top end, most of the top end mm -hmm. restaurants are participating. So you can go to our website, catchdemoine.com, and get a listing of the restaurants participating. Can you talk to these people? I hate that it's during the Iowa State Fair because I don't get a chance to enjoy it as much as I normally well, would. Is that why they do it? You know, initially, I thought, because initially, all in years past, it has been next week after the right. fair. Right. Oh. And I wondered why we shifted it to this week. but. Evidently, some of the restaurants are fairly slow this week because of the state fair. So it's encouraging it's like people it's to come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if it's because new people are in town or what, but it's well, just, I think it's it may be a little bit of that too. You get out there if you're a big fair goer. Yeah, I know, I know it. And this year, there if you go, I think it's if you go to four and you and you enter your receipts, you can win a trip to Miami, Florida. This That's exactly year. right. So you know, most people. Don't, I would like to don't go. go to the fair. Every day. <laughs> and, like first thing what? in the morning and then come home the next day. They, they don't. <laughs> you got a camper out there, by the way? I should. You ought to. I'm going to work on that next year. Yeah, or at least a tent. Yeah. <laughs> um, a little pup tent. There you go. The uh, There's a stand up paddleboard clinic happening tomorrow afternoon oh, from 3 to 4 to 15. Fun. Annette Nature Center and Park is down uh, by Indianola, just south of Indianola. And it is a uh, it's a fun little sport, and evidently it's fairly easy to do, easier mm -hmm. than what you think. I was talking to some people about that. It's so. fun. Jackie yeah. did. Yeah, it's fun, and the weather's supposed to be getting just better and better, right, Jason? Yeah, it should, it should be, be beautiful for that tomorrow. Yep. There's a little sampling of the paddle boarding. Um, out at the fairgrounds Saturday morning, there's, a, there's the annual fairgrounds 5K run, 7.30. Saturday morning, and you can participate, and you can run by the livestock, all the vendors, campers. Um, kind of a neat, neat thing to do to really see the fairgrounds and some of the back areas of the fairgrounds. And of course, stick around after the run and enjoy the fair. Yoga in the park happens Saturday morning from 8 to 9 a.m. That's at the Ankeny Bandshell in Wagner Park. It's a free event. Um, everybody's welcome, including family members, um, people of all yoga levels and skills. So 
I actually there you go. want to do that. I've always, never... I've been wanting to do it so much. Have you done yoga? No. <laughs> Neither one? No. Uh, I'd like to do yogurt. it. Yogurt. Mm -hmm. I've done yogurt, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I may just do yogurt. It, 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 <laughs> just show up and eat yogurt. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. What's what is yogurt? That? I, well, I mean, we, yogurt have, we have friends that are like trainers and, and it's exploding in this community. just haven't dug in yet. Yeah, yeah, it's a... But there's many opportunities to do so, like that one this weekend. There you go. Of course, the downtown farmer's market continues. Which is incredible. It really is. I was down there last Saturday and it's just so much fun. So many varieties of food to eat, to buy. Mm -hmm. Flowers, crafts, arts, all kinds of great things. You can get samples of ginger beer and root beer that's brewed right there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You can. Avenue. Yeah, mm -hmm. good stuff. Mm -hmm. So catch that Saturday morning, 7 a.m. to noon. Um, we got a Drake women's soccer game. They take on Pacific. That's Sunday morning at 11 o'clock out at James County Soccer Park here in Des Moines. $5 will get you in the door there. Of course, Drake's... Uh, really come a long way with their soccer program, both women and men. So county is a nice place. I hadn't been there until the rugby Beautiful thing. Place. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really is. Um, you've got quarter horse racing out at Prairie Meadows Sunday afternoon. That continues. It's a one o'clock um, start time. And of course, that's a family event as well. You can bring the kids out and hang out on the apron of the track to catch a little horse racing at Prairie Meadows. And last but not least, Sunday night, Johnny Lang. Oh, hey, hey, that's right. Yeah, Johnny's coming to town. He's going to be at Hoyt Sherman Place. Tickets start at $56, 7.30 show. He'll be performing, I don't know if you guys know this, Guthrie Brown and the Family Tree will also be there. Not familiar with, with those folks, but... Um, familiar with Johnny Lang, though. Johnny Lang, oh, he's, yeah. he's a legend. He's performed with the Rolling Stones, Aerosmith, B.B. King, all the, all the biggies, so... And a solo career that was phenomenal, too. So, oh, yeah. great job on yeah, him. No doubt. Yeah. All right. Well, looking forward to it. That's a wrap. Excellent. There you Thank go. You, sir. If you're from out of town or you are in town and want to know what's going on, where can we go to find out what we can catch in Des Moines? You go to Cat.